Hello? Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, nothing, just kind of piddling. You want to build a toolbox? Cool. Well, yeah, we can do that. Saw one on Amazon for 250 bucks. I don't know about all that. How big do you want it? Man, I don't have all that kind of gear. I mean, it's going to cost me a little bit more in labor. I can't really justify 250 bucks. Um, you, you know, I don't have a break. I don't have plans. I don't have a blueprint. I mean, essentially, this is a custom job. I know, dude, but hey, I might know of somewhere. As always, everyone, welcome back into the channel. We've got a really exciting episode for you today. Again, comparing what an actual custom job shop can do right here in Conroe, Texas. We're here at Ameritex. Let's check it out inside. I'm here with Mike Sanders, Vice President of Ameritex. And first impressions, Mike, this is an absolutely magnificent facility. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's so many things in a custom job shop. What are some of the biggest challenges that you guys face being a custom job shop with the quantity that you yes. produce? We are a machine shop that essentially produces all types of enclosures. And the challenges in this business, you don't get the same thing over and over and over and over. You're lucky if you get five of the same thing. What we've done here is a very simple yet extremely powerful approach. Product is the number one priority for us. We call this approach product centric and we use a system called quantum lean system. It's the most advanced and much more uh, customized to shops like this, which doesn't produce hundreds of anything. Yeah, it's hundreds of nothing. nothing I mean, exactly. y'all are more than happy to take on my one order of this toolbox, which exactly. I'm excited to get to and get it all the way through the whole process here. And by the way, guys, remember, we're gonna be giving away this toolbox to one of you viewers all you gotta do, like, follow, subscribe, comment down below what you would use the toolbox for. Well, I'm excited to check it out. We're gonna make our first stop at the big tower laser over there. All right, Angel, so we just got our marching orders from inside the office. We got our paperwork, we're ready. We got the material off the rack. This is an absolute unit. What is this thing exactly? So what you see here is an automated system for feeding the, the laser to where instead of loading the material by hand, It'll do it all in automation. So you can store all different types of shapes, sizes of sheet metal and plate. Correct. Up and down here and, and it knows where it's stored at so that it can come out, come in, pick up, come yes. back in. Yes, sir. It'll go and select it and grab it itself. Sweet. Now, as far I as the laser, how par powerful of a laser is that? In this scenario, this is a 10K and uh, it can reach speeds up to 472 inches per minute on quarter inch carbon. Good God, that's, that's fast. That is correct. That is way fast. What's the max thickness it can cut? It can cut up to one inch. Doesn't matter what metal too. No matter. Laser doesn't care. It's no. getting right through it's it. It's going to slice through it. But that's really cool. It makes really quick work of our little sheet metal project. We're going to take it from here, check everything after it gets cut. Correct. We're going to peel it all out and get yes, it ready sir. for bending. Yes, sir. Thanks, Angel, man. No problem. Thanks for coming in today. You too. Hey man, we just came straight hot off the laser. We got our parts cut over there. We're coming over here to this big, massive brake. This thing is incredible. What is this thing called? It's an LVD press brake. What is the first thing when you get a new part over here, what's the first thing you do? You, as, as I've seen anyone else, they check the paperwork first. First thing you do is you look through your traveler, see how many parts you're supposed to have. You verify you have enough parts to make sure everything is there. Look at your drawing, make sure everything's copacetic, and then load your program. How big of parts can you bend? can go up to 118 inches long. Max thickness at that length would be quarter inch. You got a lot of tools in there. Yeah, there's 196 different pieces of tooling inside. That's incredible. That's how you get all those different degrees and angles and all your different lengths, because these Correct. mechanical arms, I saw them coming out. It was cool to see it in action. We got all of our side bins. You got a couple of them that were crazy angles and right. you wrapped it all up. You looked at the paperwork, all of the, I saw you again, after you finished up, you quality control checked every measurement and then we got it done, slapped a red cone on it. Now we're pushing it off to those guys. Right on. Heck yeah, man. Well, thanks for having us and thanks for uh, getting it all bent for us. Bet, man. Have a good one. All right. We got it all bent up. You double checking everything on the blueprints, but what is this thing? We call them a PEM machine. Part of PEM. 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 
Okay. But we can do pim studs or pim nuts where you press it in there and it bites into the material. Okay, so it's and all then, press fit. Yes. Well, heck yeah. Once we get our studs in, we're going to go over to the stud welder and actually throw some studs on this thing. Yes, sir. So what is it that you guys do over in this area specifically? We got a lot of big machines, but what do you guys do in this area? We install hardware, you know, like any kind okay, of Okay, so we use a stud, a stud welder today. Yeah, a stud welder, yes. Aluminum, stainless, carbon, we can shoot everything here. Cool. I've never used one of these. I've never seen it before. What's Wait this lead right here? That's the ground. And you got two just for extra. Yeah. When you shoot the stud, if you have both grounds here, then the stud's going to try and follow the grounds also. Okay. So we just to put them separate and that way the weld is all the way around. Well, yeah, so just put this, the thread in here. Find wherever you got to shoot it. You lay it down flat and then you shoot it. Bam, bye out. Yes, sir. Yes. Put them well, down. Thanks, Luis. Next one. I appreciate that. We got, got it all bolted up, got the bolts in there. Now we got to take it down to weld. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, thanks, Everything man. Everything was there. We just got back from stud welding and putting some rivets on. Now we're over at the welding bay. What was your process as far as putting together that box? I always start uh, watch, looking at the print first. You know, getting your dimensions from the width and length and everything is always important because at the end of the box, you already fully welded yeah. it out and it's not matching right. What I liked here is that everyone's got kind of checks and balances. When it comes to you, you check what the previous person did right. and you check what you're fixing to do. Yeah. And that seems to be this, the kind of the method through every station. What's the biggest deal with MIG welding sheet metal to you as far as trying to keep everything in line? Bands aren't always perfect, you know? Yeah. There's always those imperfections. Don't tell Richard that. And everything, whether it's cutting it or bending it, you know, you can kind of make everything work. And that's the welders and fitters job to make sure everything's lining up and looks perfect. Whenever you're Engineers welding- Engineers gotta have heroes too, right? You know, yeah. <laughs> that's what we're here, right? to fix everything. To fix everything. Well, you got a good seam weld, so you got it all fit up. You put a bunch of tacks on there. Now, you didn't do a lot of subsequent welding where you do a little bit there, a little bit there. You just welded it solid. Well, it's because I had already braced the top. And ah, you put tacked, the braces in. Tacked a certain spot so the, the top is not moving. And whether whenever the top is already in place, pretty much the bottom is not going to move. Okay, that makes sense. And so, especially with the bottom having a bottom and its bends, yeah. right? The top is the only thing that really needs to hold pretty yeah. strong on this toolbox. Because that's where your lid is going to be closing at. Right, so, so you go to blend it. When you're looking for the blend, you use the Cubitron 3. How do you like that blending with those? You always use those uh, Cubitron 3s to blend? Yeah. Put that final on there? It gives it like the flattest look for me. That, you know, that you're looking for. Well, now that, that it's all silky smooth and we got QC bought it, we're going to take it over to paint. So, man, thanks for all the help. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Just getting done with the welding and finishing the Adrian did, the part gets pushed back to paint. Now there's a lot of moving parts back here. We've got massive bays. Essentially the big pieces, they'll come through here, they'll get clean, they'll get sandblasted, and then they'll get washed and work their way down through this big track system through the backside, back end, where they kind of get everything else wrapped up and get it painted or powder coated and then moved up to these ovens. They have big powder coating ovens and a lot of good stuff. We'll come on to the back we actually have our toolbox getting ready for paint. Ah, oh, dang. Hot and fresh off the press right here in Conroe, Texas, guys. Again, you can win this toolbox. All you gotta do is get down in the comments below, comment how you would use it. Be sure to like and follow us and go check out Ameritex, of course. That's what it's all about, guys. Thanks for having me here. I really enjoyed the whole experience. The toolbox is wonderful. And remember, guys, you can win this toolbox. All you gotta do is comment down below. And where can they find you guys? They can find us in Conroe, Texas. Conroe, Ameritex Texas. Ameritex Machine and Fabrication. Go to our website, Ameritex llc.com so our doors are open come on over we'll be happy to show you what we've got those of you your audience who are interested in this they can search quantum lean i have a book they can actually take a okay. look at it and then learn it it's an instructional book tells you what to do in your facility saves you a ton of money saves you a ton of time at the same time you become one of our friends because we want to use the same system over and over ultimately our customers collectively in this industry to take advantage of low cost, high quality, fast delivery.
that's what we're all about. Awesome, man. Well, thanks, Mike, again. And thank you for having me. We'll see you guys on the next well. Sounds good. Give me the magic buttons. Magic button, the what? <laughs> hey, we've got the tape measure. It's running. What? Yeah, you just got in it. <laughs> <laughs> Later, man.